So let's start off by finding the volume of the hemisphere. To find the volume of the hemisphere, we need to use this formula right here. So now all, all I'm going to do is substitute the value of the radius, which is the only value that I have got. So it's 2 thirds times by pi times by 3 cubed. Well, 3 cubed is 27, so it's going to be 2 thirds times by pi times by 27. Well, if I've got 27, uh, I can multiply these two together. Now, the problem is that's a fraction and that's a whole number, but that's easy to fix. To change a whole number into a fraction, just put the denominator as 1. The reason being, let's say, for example, if I had 5 and I put 5 over 1, how many ones go into 5? 5. Okay? Well, if I put the number 7, to change that into a fraction, 7 over 1, how many ones go into 7? 7. Okay? So any whole number that you want to change into a fraction, just make the denominator a 1. So, let's do that. 2 thirds times by 27 over 1 multiplied by pi. If we multiply that together, uh, to multiply fractions, you multiply straight across. 2 times by 27 is 54. 3 times by 1 is 3. So it's 54 over 3 multiplied by pi. If you simplify this, you get 18 times by pi, which is the same as 18 pi. So the area of the, uh, sorry, the volume of the hemisphere is 18 pi. We've got that. So this here is 18 And the second one is to work out the volume of the cone. Now I'm just going to move this up slightly. So don't forget it's one third i r squared into the height. So that's one third times by pi times by three squared times by 10, because the height is 10. So that's 1 third times by pi times by 9 times by 10. So we can simplify this again. So it's 1 third times by pi times by 90. Similar thing that we did on this side, that 90 is going to times by 1 third. Okay. Now, there's two ways of doing this. You can do 1 times by 90. So let me do it here. 1 times by... 90 over 1, which is going to give you 90 over 3. Okay, or if you know your rules of fractions, if you're multiplying uh, a fraction by a whole number, technically you can divide it. If you're multiplying a fraction and it has a numerator of 1, so there's a numerator of 1 by uh, a whole number, you can just divide by the denominator. It's up to you, it's just rem as you remember it. So 90 divided by 3 is 30. And that's going to be multiplied by pi. So that answer is 30 pi. Now, we've got our two answers. All we have to do is add them together. 18 pi plus 30 pi gives us 48 pi. So when we add them both together, we get 48 pi. Now, don't forget, the question asks you to round to the three significant figures. So you can't leave your answer in terms of pi. So let's have a look at this. If you put, so I hope you can see this. If you put 48 pi into the calculator, to get the decimal answer, you need to press the SD button just there. It's 150.796. So I'm going to write that down, 150.796. It does keep going, but I only need it to three significant figures. So, three significant figures is the first three figures with any value whatsoever. There's one, there's two, and there's three. However, in order for you to round it to the third one there, which is the third significant figure, you have to look at the number after it. If it's less than four, it stays the same. If it's five, five or more, it goes up. So this would be... Uh, this 7 would cause this to round up, it would be 1 by 1 centimetres cubed. And that's now your answer, the final answer to three significant 